My name is Mark Kirkshank and this is my City Mech Division. And basically what I did was I tried to create uh, as if Lego City had a mech division or a mech uh, force or something like that. So what we did over here, uh, we'll start down this way and we'll work our way across. We have police and fire over here, just kind of some smaller ones that go out and take care of stuff. Uh, we have the day-to-day -day police and then kind of the special ops kind of thing. Um, down in here we have a train going around, he's just kind of carrying cargo stuff. Uh, this is our explorer hangar. So we have the Arctic Explorer, the Lava Explorer, the Jungle Explorer there. We have some uh, down in the warehouse here. We have uh, some guys welding. They're building up a new mech motor stuff. We got Doc Brown there, one of my favorite characters <laughs> from my favorite movies. Um, we got some, I got this set for Christmas and of course I had to take the wheels off and put legs on it. So it's one of the cargo sets. And then up here we have air cargo. And uh, he was in my build last year, we did lumber mech. Mm -hmm. Uh, and basically what happens after a year, like mech's knees, they go bad, that's the first thing to go. So he's getting his knees worked on and everything. Um, then over here we have the special transport mech that's the one that takes them kind of out because they got to go everywhere from the Arctic to the jungle to wherever. So he's the one that does that. Outside here we have the underwater mechs or mech. And then um, right there we have the Coast Guard and that's kind of the the ones we have in there. We have smaller ones that do first aid. We've been moving those around a little bit, so it changes, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really cool. You incorporated, you know, kind of all the different areas of a city with the different mechs that they would need to do their job. Yeah. Yeah, I tried to hit the most this year of what I like to build, and so I really like doing the jungle one. Uh, the lava one's probably my favorite. Um, yeah, and then inside here, because as everyone knows, like when mechs get into cities, if they bump into a wall, it's gonna explode. So with that comes a lot of paperwork and a lot of insurance and stuff like that. So if I take the top off of the office, you look down in there, that's where all the paperwork happens and everything. The back windows are beyond the brick windows. Uh, <laughs> just, you know, some nice stained glass I got back in there. And so, I like that, very cool. Yeah, I thought I'd throw those in, so gives it a little, extra flair mm -hmm. so and then uh, let's see we got a more tour of the building the doors move they open and close I use the steering wheel piece there just did kind of a slider door uh, the elevator doors open the elevator doesn't go up and down everyone asks and I, I didn't go that far I was focusing more on building max and stuff mm -hmm. like that so yeah, and then these doors open up down here and they just kind of disappear into the wall. And there's another one up there, but yeah. Some of the features on the mechs are like this underwater one. Let's see if I can do this without breaking it. It has kind of these uh, assistant propellers to help them kind of run underwater. And uh, if he gets into a tight spot or something, it has like an escape pod that comes off and he can take off. This goes into rest mode and waits for him to come back. So you can put that back on there, hopefully. Some nice play features there. Yeah. Um, in my head, he just kind of jumps from here into the water, but, you know, I have a, a kind of a crazy imagination, so, yeah. That works. When you yeah. start with these mechs, obviously you've got a lot of different kinds here and sizes. Is there kind of a typical, like, part of the mech you start building and then you build up from there, or how does that work? Well, yeah, kind of, like with me, with the... With the smaller ones, I'll always start with the cockpit and uh, kind of work in and then make it stand. So I'll go from cockpit down to legs. And then if I can get it to stand, then I'll usually go to the arms and then the hands and then I'll detail it out with some tiles and stickers and stuff like that. The bigger ones, I'll build the whole torso first. Like these over here, I did um, the torso first. We'll show you on this one because I like to do it. Let's see if I can do it without dropping. Um, yep, they pull off like that and that just gives it a sense of like you can actually rotate it if you do it right. It's been a long day. <laughs> that's fine, yeah, that's, that's a great design there. So, and these ones, as far as like posability, I knew I just kind of wanted them, see I've been playing with them all day so they're just kind of falling apart, I gotta fix them up, but I just wanted them to stand there and look kind of mean and tough so. Yeah, I kind of put them in their stance, and they have minimal, like, posability and stuff like that. But, yeah, I usually start with the torso, go to the legs, and then if once I get it to stand, then I'll put the arms on and stuff like that. So, 
Yeah. And, and then the build as a whole here, where'd you kind of start planning out with that? Was there a central area you built from and, and went out from yeah, there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, after last year's show, so about a year ago, I knew I wanted to do like an explorer hangar. So I started in this middle section and uh, kind of got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it got to the point where I was like, you know what, I'll, I'll put some police and fire in there. I'll put some air cargo in there. And then my wife finally let me put it out on the kitchen table. And then it, it started growing and we could walk all the way around it and work and stuff. So it uh, started with this middle section and just got bigger. So this is where we stopped as far as right now for, okay, time to go to the uh, Bricks Cascade. And maybe next year I'll, my plan is to do the back. And so if we put it in the middle, you can walk all the way around and the train will go all the way around and stuff like that. And then I can get more back there. So, but as far as this year's show, this is where we stop. So mm -hmm. well, yeah. I think this is still very impressive here. And one thing I want to point out, you got the billboard there at the city mech division and also your shirts here, yes, which are so cool, like custom printed shirts. Custom printed shirts because we did that last year. We're going to do it this year. And then um, that way, you know, people know I'm part of this, and then I'm kind of like the tour guide. So when kids come in or adults and everything, I, I give them a tour, kind of like what we did here, and, you know, ask them questions, they ask me questions, stuff like that. So, yeah. Yeah. It works out well. Well, thanks for chatting with me about the build, and thanks for bringing it to the show. It's kind of right in front of the doors here when yeah. the public walks in, so it's a great way to first greet the public with this awesome build. Yeah, thank you.